Good morning on this finally Friday. Chris Allen here on the Sam channel, which is on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. It is April the 14th. The weekend is upon us. Weather stick is still blue, although we're going to see some better rain chances as we get into uh, today, especially this afternoon. And then again, Saturday night into Sunday. There's not much happening right now, but as of 5 a.m., you can see this uh, little arc of shower activity. It's uh, moving northward, and I think eventually some of this will begin to just kind of scatter across southern Kentucky as we get into later this morning, but especially this afternoon. We've got a low pressure system that's way down here in parts of Mississippi, it's going to uh, send that moisture kind of arcing like this, kind of in a uh, counterclockwise fashion. And uh, as this thing starts to slowly track off to the north and east, well, we're going to get some of that rain that you see on the radar, just not right now. Uh, but down towards Murfreesboro, McMinnville, Tennessee, even uh, parts of the Nashville area starting to see some of those light showers. We'll see some of that later, but uh, not so much this morning. We'll start out with a few clouds, and then we'll notice uh, those showers beginning to tick up uh, in intensity, but not too intense. This is not a very strong system. It's just an upper low that is just sitting there spinning by itself and doesn't have a whole lot of moisture. Uh, some of you may get a tenth of an inch of rain, if even that much, out of that low as it spins on by later today. Here's a look at the 10-day blender. And we've got your ups and downs in here. We've got mid-70s today, near 80 tomorrow. We get a break from any showers that we have today of uh, for tomorrow, and then tomorrow night into Sunday, we get another round of showers and storms, and you can see that uh, the temperatures do come down, upper 60s to near 70. A cooler 62, low 60s by Monday, but then we hop right back into the 70s, 81 for Thursday of next week, and then we cool down again into the 60s and 70s. Up and down, up and down. But at least it's when it goes down, it's not cold. It gets a little chilly at night, like uh, Monday night, maybe Tuesday night, we get a little chilly. And then again, as we get into next weekend, we could have some chilly nights in there. But a uh, kind of a roller coaster ride of temperatures coming for us over the next several days. And, you know, we're still in the transitional period uh, getting into spring out of winter. So it's to be expected. All right. Here's a look at current temperatures. Now the Kentucky Mesonet network, the last couple of mornings, you'll recall, if you've been watching this is that, uh, the temperatures have been all over the place. You would have like thirties in one place. And then the next County over, it could be in the fifties. Well, because of the little bit more humid air, that humid air, that humidity, that moisture in the air holds temperatures up a little bit more and more even. Everybody statewide is in the 50s, and there's even some 60s showing up here and there, like 61 down in Allen County in Scottsville, and even down near the river in Burksville, where it's usually colder than everywhere else. They're even at 50, just about 50. So you got 50s and 60s all over the place, nothing too chilly. Everybody's pretty even on the temperatures this morning, thanks to that moisture that's in the air. You can even feel there's a little bit more humidity. There's a little bit more thickness to the air. That's going to be pretty typical uh, today because of that low pressure system coming in with some of the showers uh, that are in the forecast. Well, let me show you the model map. And I'll explain how this is all going to work out for the rest of the weekend today through the weekend. Here we go. Uh, we're starting with the here and now. Uh, we've got a couple of low pressure systems. These are surface lows, not very strong. 
but we've got the upper low. Actually, the upper low is more, I'm going to say it's more, let me erase that. And it's, it's right now more down over central southern Mississippi, okay? So this is the path. It's going to come right through southern Kentucky and head off to the north and east as we go through the day. But as I showed you on the radar, that circulation is coming in off of the Atlantic and off of the Gulf of Mexico. So all that is wrapping around that low pressure system as it moves north. So naturally, we're going to get some of that backfeed uh, moisture coming in for us. And so we'll begin to see light scattered showers as we go through the day. But mostly this afternoon, I think, is when we get a little instability kicking in. You can see it right there. This is going to be, uh, let's see. One is going to be about six, five, six o'clock this evening. We get that low pressure system then over southern Kentucky, drawing in the Atlantic moisture and some of that Gulf of Mexico moisture. So because of that, scattered showers, thunderstorms this afternoon, not looking at severe weather. These would be your, what I call the garden variety, spring showers and thunderstorms. Not everybody's going to get wet. Some of the thunderstorms may produce some brief heavy rain, some lightning, uh, but not every thunderstorm is severe. Okay. So I don't think these are going to be severe. They will have some instability, but you got to remember this is an upper low and not a surface low. Therefore, uh, it just doesn't have a whole lot to work with. But as we get on into the evening, those showers begin to die out. As we get into tomorrow, pretty good looking day, but here comes the surface low with a cold front with it. But look, 1,004 millibars, it will strengthen a little bit more, but this is not going to be a severe weather maker for us. Now, back here in the plains and the middle Mississippi Valley, yes, there is a risk for severe weather. Not only uh, today, but tomorrow. But this is all going to weaken as it moves east because it's running into what's left of the high pressure ridge, which has now moved into the Atlantic. So the high pressure is going to do that Pac Man thing, wobble, 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 and just eat at that low pressure system and the cold front and should weaken everything as it moves our direction on Sunday. Now, here we go. Saturday night, we'll start to see showers and thunderstorms lining up. And you can see uh, that's going to be a pretty good cold front right there. Squall line of thunderstorms. Some of those could be severe. Back to our west from uh, southern Illinois, down through the Boot Hill of Missouri, eastern Arkansas, down toward the Memphis area, and into Louisiana. This is for UTC Sunday. So that's going to put us at uh, 11 o'clock Saturday night. So this is 11 o'clock, almost midnight Saturday night. The timing of this coming through um, just to the west of us will advance it a little bit more. Look at it fall apart. So, and then the low strengthens from what was it back here? Let's see. It was nine. I know I saw it. Uh, did it go one th oh, 1,001? Oh, okay. So I thought I saw it go at, oh, there it is, 999. That's as, that's as strong as this thing gets. So by the time it gets here, look, it goes back to 1,001 millibars. It weakens. So that whole system is going to weaken as it moves east. We'll get some showers and thunderstorms out of it on Sunday, Sunday morning. This is about 10 o'clock in the morning. The low re-strengthens uh, to 997 millibars, but the low co-located far away from us up toward Lake Michigan, Chicago area, and then the trailing front will come on through Sunday and bring us a line of showers. Gust, there could be some gusty winds. I mean, not I know as soon as I say that, it's like, no, no, we've gone a whole week. I mean, it's, <laughs> I know, um, 
maybe 20 to 30 mile per hour winds, but not the 50s and 60 mile per hour, blow everything down and take off roof shingles kind of wind. This will be a, a breezy kind of a day on Sunday with the showers and thunderstorms. There could be one or two storms that kind of almost get to severe limits, but I, I, this really does not look like a severe weather event for us. Here's another thing to notice. Look at this cold air taking a dive right here. That's that trough behind the low pressure system that is wanting to work in that cooler air. And by the time we get into Sunday and really Monday, we will start to feel some of that cooler air. That's that one or two nights that it'll be somewhat chilly, but then we warm right back up after that. So this is um, sort of a dynamic system, but again, and I can see some of these lines, these isobars here, a little bit tightly packed as that front comes through, but I think this is going to be mainly with the front. Okay, so the winds will try to, work in here, coming in from the north and northwest, and it will set us up for a breezy Sunday, maybe a stormy Sunday morning while you're at church, but I don't think it's going to be a severe weather event, not for us. It's going to uh, be in a much weaker state by the time it gets here, and uh, we should be fine. And then Sunday afternoon and evening, all of that moves away, and that low moves up into uh the northern UP of Michigan and into Canada. So I think we'll be fine. I don't think this is going to be much of a uh, severe weather situation to even be concerned about. Like I said, again, there could be one or two storms that might uh, be a little uh, strong, but I, I don't think it'll be much more than that. All right, the surface map. We'll go through that next seven days. Here we are with high pressure. There's that low pressure, actually tandem lows that are just upper lows, not very strong, just enough where they're located. They get that fetch off of the Atlantic and then a fetch off of the Gulf of Mexico. So yeah, there's going to be, you know, rainy times this afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms as we get into that time period, uh, more so in the afternoon, but then by tonight, all of that begins to move away and we dry out. I think tonight will be just partly cloudy. Uh, tomorrow will be a mix of sun and clouds, breezy, warm, uh, until we get the next round of showers coming in with the front that's coming in from out west. So another round of showers and storms into Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, that moves away. We get these little troughs, these little straws uh, that's going to keep some clouds around as we get into uh, Sunday night into Monday. But Monday still looks mostly sunny, still a little breezy, as you can see those lines together there. It will be cooler, too. You know, by Monday, we're only going to make it to maybe 60, and then lows in the 40s. Here's a front that decays just to the south. Actually, this is going to become more of a warm front ahead of the next storm that's taking shape out west on Tuesday. And there it is, the warm air coming back along with showers and thunderstorms by the middle of the week. This is Wednesday. And then into Thursday, we get set up again for what looks to be another kind of stormy situation with some rain, thunderstorms by Thursday into Friday of next week. So uh, we're going to see some showers today, mainly during the afternoon, gone tonight, gone tomorrow, until tomorrow night and Sunday. That's when the cold front actually makes it through. Oh, I forgot to say, yesterday's high in Bowling Green, 82. 82. <laughs> it felt great. Yeah. 70 is where we should be. So we were 12 degrees above average for the day. And there was just a like a trace of rainfall with some of those light rain showers that happened uh, yesterday afternoon. Not everybody saw those. It was just a little bit of daytime instability with that moisture coming in, set off a couple of showers, but no big deal. All right. Today, being a Friday, the weekend is here. 
I've got, uh, now yesterday, let me explain yesterday. Couldn't do the show until the very end. And I mean, the very end of the radio show at Sam, we had transmitter trouble. I got there early enough yesterday to try to track down what was going on. We determined it was a, a piece of equipment that sends our signal from the studio out to the transmitter uh, that's on the Edmondson Warren County line. Well, that signal was not making it there. So that's why you could tune to Sam 100.7 and it's just quiet because the signal was not getting to the transmitter. But we fixed that yesterday about quarter to 10. <laughs> so I got, I went on the air and did one break, one did talk one time before my show was over. But today everything's working, everything's back to normal. So a regular morning show, and I'll have a couple of pair of tickets to give away to the Stevie Wonder Tribute, which is next weekend, uh, the 22nd. So um, listen for your chance to win when I play a Stevie Wonder song this morning. That'll be your opportunity to call in and win those uh, pair of tickets. Then, if you didn't hear, a major concert announcement yesterday. I was... I was told to be, you know, zip the lip about this until it was done. Yesterday it got done. Christopher Cross is coming to Skypack June 27th. Tickets will go on sale this coming Monday. I'm going to be there. Um, I get to welcome everybody. I'm uh, going to help with some of the VIP uh, Those that buy the VIP tickets, meet and greet backstage. I'll be there. Um, this is, I mean, Christopher Cross, ride like the wind, da, 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 da. the Christopher Cross His 40th anniversary tour is coming to Bowling Green sky pack again, June 27th tickets go on sale Monday. And of course we're the station that plays Christopher Cross. So we're going to be all over it. So there you go. Christopher Allen, Christopher Cross. I need a pink flamingo somewhere back here just to make it right. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you on the radio.